Okay guys, so quickly before this video starts, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you actually want the best chance to unlock this full maxed out Ragnarok skin, including the skull, including the glowing blue eyes, including everything that I'm about to mention in this video that's secretly unlocked with this skin, make sure you drop a big like, the fattest like you've ever dropped in your life. If you actually leave a like, you're going to get this a lot faster, you're going to have good luck in your wins, everything's just going to go your way if you leave a like. Now another reason why I wanted to make this little segment at the start of the video is to tell you guys that you can actually get free V-Bucks on Fortnite Battle Royale. And it's really simple. All you have to do is open up the description of this video and click the first link that says free V-Bucks next to it. You need to go there, you need to download free apps, and then once you download those apps, you are literally rewarded with points that you can get free V-Bucks on whether you're on PlayStation, Xbox, anything you guys want, mobile, anything. All you have to do is leave a like and click that link in the top of the description, which I'm showing on the screen right now for you guys to make it more simple. And guys, you will have this full maxed out Ragnarok skin in no time. This is literally like a kind of like a cheat code in Fortnite, I guess you could say. I'm definitely going to use this method, so hopefully you guys do use it also. Best of luck to you all, and let's get into today's video. Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video, and yes, today we'll be taking a look at the all brand new Tier 100 Max Rank Season 5 skin. We're going to be discussing 6 things you didn't know about the Ragnarok skin in Fortnite Battle Royale. By far, probably the coolest skin so far that we have ever had in Fortnite Battle Royale. We're going to be going through 6 things that you guys probably didn't know and especially things that I didn't know before I actually made this video. So yeah, hopefully this is an interesting list because it's a fresh skin, really brand new and hopefully you guys do enjoy this one. So let's kick things off with number 1. I just talk about the quick origin of the Ragnarok skin in Fortnite battle royale just the history behind it and why it's in fortnite battle royale so guys as you guys know the theme of season 5 is basically historical and obviously one of the things that falls into that category is vikings vikings play a huge part in season 5 as we know the hunter skin and the ragnarok skin and also like a new leaked skin coming to the shop soon are all viking themed now there's locations around the map that also signify things about vikings so yeah we can clearly see this guy is clearly a viking and there was actually a movie about thor and it was called thor ragnarok and basically Basically, it was about a Viking, so, so it straight away just tells us that Ragnarok is a Viking's name. So we already basically know that the fact that this guy is a Viking and he starts off being like a normal Viking, you obviously have to upgrade him. Now the history is why he is the tier 100, we do not know as far as this yet. But however, I'm thinking that something about the Viking ship that we have near Snobby Shores, maybe he has something to do with that ship. Maybe he was like the leader and like the captain of that Viking ship and he basically is now like landed on this Fortnite island from like far away land. There could be endless theories as to how this guy came into Fortnite, but all I know right now is that he's a Viking, his name is Ragnarok, which is obviously a Viking's name, and he could have came from anywhere really to this Fortnite world. The second thing that you guys probably didn't know, now this one I got straight away simply because I played this game back when I was younger, and basically this is actually inspired by a Warcraft Frozen Throne. You can actually see the image I'm throwing up on the screen right now. Tell me you guys don't think this looks similar, I think it looks really similar if not really based around this. Now if you guys don't know what this is by now, if you guys haven't played this game, this is actually Warcraft Frozen Throne. I used to play this years ago when I was only little and I clearly remember like seeing this and I was like, wait a minute, what game is this from? And then I quickly remembered that it was from Warcraft and guys, you can literally see the resemblance everywhere. There's like a huge like ram skull, the blue glowing eyes, the horns, like the, the smoke, the teeth, like everything about it just reminds me of that. Now, I don't know if Epic Games actually did get inspiration from this or if they actually just did it by accident and it simply matched up with the colors and the looks and everything else but from what I can see so far it actually looks like they have got inspiration or just a little bit of inspiration number three and the things that you guys didn't know about obviously guys we know that there is a new ranking system for the Ragnarok skin you actually have to get a certain amount of XP to keep unlocking the new stages of his outfit and guys if you actually didn't know this by now to get the full outfit for the Ragnarok base unlock everything the skull the glowing eyes all of his gear you actually have to reach level 80 of season 5 so a lot of people would look at this and they would think 500,000 XP, that is a hell load of XP, I wonder what level that is, and guys, it's simply to get to level 80, now we actually had this last season with the Omega, we had to get to level 80 to unlock the Omega-like armor lights, and this is basically the same thing for the Ragnarok, so 500,000 XP equals level 80, so by the time you guys reach level 80, which will be a lot of hard work and grinding, you guys will be rewarded with this sick looking Ragnarok skin, thankfully I found this out just to a quick Google search, because I was really curious as to how much 500,000 XP really is, in terms of level I was literally expecting it to be like level 100 so for those of you who are worrying about it being like a super super high level it's still quite high to get to level 80 but it's really not as much as people think so yeah I suggest if you guys want the full Ragnarok armor 
you're going to have to grind for that level 80, try and win as many games as you can, make sure to play with your friends that do have the battle pass in order to get more XP when you win also. Number 4 is kind of links in with the level 80 um, fight that we had previously before. It's actually that you get the glowing eyes effect once you reach level 80 with the Ragnarok. Now like I previously mentioned, the Omega Lights were the last season's kind of alternative to this. So yeah, it looks like we're getting like a style for like tier 100 skins every season at the moment. It's like kind of the Fortnite trend. At the max level of the skin you get like some glowing light to reward it and yeah guys, if you actually didn't notice, on the 6th stage you actually make his eyes glow blue and it, I, I think it just looks super super cool on the fifth stage you obviously unlock the skull on his head but it just doesn't really look as cool like unless you have those glowing eyes and people see that in the game they're gonna know this guy is fearsome because he has been grinding for this guy winning a lot of games and he has the glowing eyes which kind of makes it even look cooler rather than just having like normal skull eyes another reason i wanted to mention this is potentially they could actually make the ragnarok glowing eyes lights and whatever else the color scheme of him they could actually potentially add a edit style option similar to what they did with the omega and change the light of the Ragnarok's glowing eyes, his beard, turning it from blue to, for example, yellow, green, red, purple, similar to the Omega. Now, the reason I think they could do this is because a lot of people actually requested this for the Omega when the Omega didn't have any lights, and Epic Games actually added it in. So, yeah, we can have any feature we want, really, guys, if, as long as you guys request for it. We could actually see this in the future to see the Ragnarok having different customizable lights addition to his skin. The fifth thing that you guys probably didn't know, including myself, I did not know this as the time of yesterday, but as the time progressed, I actually found this out. At level 45 or stage 3 of the Ragnarok, like ranking outfit system, whenever you get to level 45, you actually unlock a cape back bling for the Ragnarok skin. Now, would you actually buy the, or get the Ragnarok skin at the start? You actually see that he's a plain Viking, he has no back bling, and I was thinking it's kind of like the theme that's going on anyway, like they don't really have um, back blings for tier 100 skins anymore, but I quickly realized that once you actually reach level 45 or the third stage of the Ragnarok, he actually comes with a back bling called the Frozen Shroud. This is actually what it looks like. It looks very, very sick. This would go very well with a lot of other skins too. Epic Games have actually recently started to add a lot of capes into Fortnite Battle Royale just to give it like a little bit more variety and you can literally just select any cape you want to put on your skins. And this one is by far probably one of the coolest capes that we've ever had in Fortnite. It's got like holes in it and it's like makes it look a lot more historic and it definitely goes well with this Ragnarok skin. So for those of you who are wondering this, or thinking it was a shame that this skin didn't come with a back bling, you're actually now going to get a back bling so yeah don't really get upset over it, get your hopes up because once you reach that level 45 you will be rewarded with this epic frozen shroud back bling for the Ragnarok skin. And finally last but not least talking about the outfit of the Ragnarok and reaching levels to unlock new things for him, another thing that you guys actually unlock is the secret permafrost pickaxe at level 60 of the Ragnarok armor stage and also at level 60 that's another cool factor of it you actually do unlock like this skull for the Ragnarok skin so as you guys know the Ragnarok once you level him up he's basically just a viking his beard goes longer and like he wears like a lot more armor from levels like 1 to 4 you actually see him as a normal viking just that he puts on like more armor on his outfit however at the level 60 stage 5 this is actually where you unlock the skull on his head to make him look that much more intimidating and you're only one step off of this last step to unlock everything for the Ragnarok including the glowing eyes and the skull on his like shoulder pads. So yeah, you actually do unlock his pickaxe which is called the Permafrost pickaxe. It looks very sick, it's like icy and it definitely matches the theme of the skin. I reckon this is like an ice viking. It kind of does definitely symbolize something to do with ice obviously because his um, cape is actually called the Frozen Shroud. Obviously to do something with frozen and cold. And we have the permafrost, which is like another thing. And also, his color scheme is also actually blue, which also symbolizes ice. So another thing, like a little bonus secret in here that we have, is that he's an ice viking and he definitely has the ice element about him. So yeah guys, you actually do unlock this permafrost pickaxe at level 60, so join the grind guys, enjoy trying to go for this pickaxe. I definitely know I will. And yeah guys, that's basically all I wanted to mention for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. That's going to conclude today's video. Hopefully you guys found out something new I definitely for sure did when I was putting this list together. Hopefully you guys do actually manage to get your hands on the skin once you have grinded through those tiers. And best of luck to you all, I definitely want to unlock all these cool features now that I've just talked about them all. If you actually want to get yourself some free V-Bucks to maybe help you get there to that final tier 100 skin, just to help you get there that much faster, make sure to click the top link in the description below. It will take you to a website where you can get free V-Bucks. 
And without further ado, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.